Andy Hudson out here. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the data or cellular settings on your iPhone so that you can maximize a fast 5G connection like I have here. We're with T-Mobile and so it shows 5G UC. Your network may show something a little bit differently. Instead of UC, it might be UW um, or something like that. So to get into the settings for the uh, data, you simply want to tap on the settings app, of course, and choose cellular. Come in here and you'll see a number of different options. Simply can turn the, the, the data on or off, of course, a simple setting like that. Um, you have some particular settings in here, the data options. You, you tap into that, you can turn on or off data roaming, but you want to be careful with this, especially if you're traveling internationally. You don't want to be incurring extra charges if your plan doesn't include that, so you may want to keep that off, especially if you're in a strong 5G area like I am. The voice and data, right now I have mine set to 5G on all the time. I'd recommend that if you want a strong 5G signal. This will tend to reduce your battery life more than these other two options, 5G auto. It only uses 5G when it won't significantly um, impact your battery life, so it's going to be constantly adjusting it, or the LTE. If you really want to save on battery, uh, you can just choose LTE, though you will have a slower connection for your data. But um, I've recently just been keeping mine on all the time because uh, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It has a really good battery, so I don't need to be as concerned with battery life. Um, another setting here is data mode, and I have mine set to allow more data on 5G, especially since I'm in a stronger 5G area. You can put it to standard, which will allow automatic updates and background tasks, uh, but limits video and FaceTime quality. So if you want the maximum quality for your FaceTime calls and watching video, I'd recommend keeping it on allow more data on 5G. The low data mode will um, reduce your data usage, especially if you have like uh, a metered program where you can only allow so much data per month. Um, it will pause automatic updates and background tasks, just so you know that. The limit IP address tracking is important to have on so that when you are using your mail program and in Safari, uh, it, you, won't be, you won't be showing your IP address uh, as you're in those applications. Now, personal hotspot is a great feature, especially if you're in an area where the Wi-Fi connection isn't that great. Um, if you have it toggled off, you can still uh, connect to this uh, when the devices that you use are connected to your iCloud account. But if you want someone else in your family or a friend to be able to join yours, you have to turn it on. Um, and so you can choose just to have it on Bluetooth or USB only, or you can turn on the Wi-Fi. My, my Wi-Fi is currently off. So and of course the Wi-Fi password, and you can change that by tapping into here. You can actually change that password. Uh, you can choose maximize compatibility um, for connect connection problems with to different devices that may not connect as easily to your phone. So under here, I this is particular to T-Mobile, uh, but different uh, different options that are available on our plan that may not be available. Um, with the carrier you're using. Um, so these these may vary dependent on that carrier, but Wi-Fi calling is a very nice feature uh, that we have through T-Mobile. If I'm in a particular place where there's very limited data, but I, I'm on a strong Wi-Fi connection, I can still use my phone and make phone calls and receive phone calls. Um, this, this setting here, add Wi-Fi calling for other devices, this allows you uh, other devices that are signed into your iCloud account to make and receive calls even when you don't have your phone nearby. So you can do that over your, your MacBook or iPad. Uh, it's a very convenient setting to have on. Um, calls on other devices just allow you to make phone calls on other devices connected to your iCloud account that you can turn on and off individually. As you can see, I have a number of other Mac devices. 
Um, carrier services, as I said, we use T-Mobile. And then um, you can update the pin on your SIM card if you want for more security on that. And then here, um, with the newer iOSs you can, and with the uh, newer iPhones, you can add an eSIM and just ditch the physical SIM card completely. Now down here below, there's it shows what apps are using the most data. So if you have apps that that use a lot of data, um, you may want to disable them for use on uh, data and only use them over Wi-Fi. I have mine all on just because we have such a fast data plan. It also shows you the amount of data that they have used, which is convenient. And if you scroll all the way down, and sometimes this is missed because of all the different apps that we have. There's a Wi-Fi Assist feature that automatically uses cellular data when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. So that works really well if your Wi-Fi connection drops off. It'll immediately um, draw from the 5G, uh, from the data, so that it can you can continue to browse and use apps very quickly iCloud Drive, um, when you're not connected to Wi-Fi, use a cellular network to transfer documents or data via your, your iCloud. Um, iCloud Backup, do you want that to be backed up over data? If not, toggle that off. Um, and then you can reset the statistics up here on your particular apps. So there's actually a lot of different settings here in the cellular options on your iPhone. Be sure to let me know what settings you have questions on or that you have some additional insight on in the comments below and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and i'll see you in the next video